time to round up one of the biggest stories of the week, and we're talking about gay marriage. This week, a federal appeals court heard arguments to end gay marriage bans in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. Right now, gay marriage is legal in 36 states and Washington, D.C., but if you get married in one of the states where it is legal, it is not recognized in our state. The case could be one of the last heard in federal court before it heads to the Supreme Court. So what happens next, and should the high court settle the matter for the nation as a whole? That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on Facebook and on Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our roundup panel, and it's led by our Fox 26 senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico. Hey, Chris, good morning. Good morning. So what do you think? What is next for this debate? Well, it, it, Louisiana is the most important case, I think, because it, Texas and Mississippi, the gay marriage ban in those states was overturned. In Louisiana, it was upheld. And so if they're going to uphold that ruling in Louisiana, that sets up a conf confrontation for the Supreme Court because we now have a conflict in the circuit courts of appeals that the Supreme Court will have to take up. In Texas, the most important part of the case is this law in Texas that we won't recognize the gay marriages from other states where it's lawful. That's a direct violation of the United States con Constitution's provision of the what we call the full faith and credit clause, that every state has to recognize the laws of the other states, even if you don't like it. I think the Supreme Court will at a minimum strike that part of the law down. Let's, we're going to see what happens. Let me introduce our panel. Mustafa Tamiz, our political analyst, Jackie Bally, public policy analyst. Good morning. Good morning. Jackie, we'll start with you. you know, okay. in, in Louisiana, is the only state right now where a gay marriage ban was upheld. Right. So if the Fifth Circuit says we're going to uphold this law in Louisiana, I think the Supreme Court has to take it up sure. and, and, and resolve the issue nationwide. Right. I, I agree with you. And I, I think it all depends on who gets, you know, who it actually comes in front of. Um, a lot of people say that if, if we have a judge who believes in states' rights, then they, they, they will send it back to the states and say, you can determine and define what constitutes a marriage, which is what Texas is hoping, because we uh, took it to the voters and 76% said that they wanted a marriage defined between a man and a woman. And it, 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 a lot of people are saying with the newer trend that you're seeing, a lot of other states are now saying that marriages are allowed. Uh, you can now see the justices saying, well, now the time is turning. So it just all depends on who it gets in front of and exactly uh, what's going to be done by that judge. One of the judges on the panel was Jennifer Elrod, who was a district court judge here in Harris County for a long time before she was elevated to the Fifth Circuit. Her questions were pretty specific, and if you can judge based on questions, she's going to vote to overturn this thing, even though she voted uh, to not stop gay marriage in Texas while it was appealed. Well, the, the back and forth between the judges and the lawyer was, you know, if you like court drama, you had, you know, court drama on the Fifth Circuit. And, and, and so one of the questions that I liked was the, the Mississippi uh, and Louisiana lawyers made an argument based on procreation that said couples of the same sex cannot procreate, could not procreate, <laughs> I can't say this morning. <laughs> uh, and, and the response of, of the judges, not that one, but another one, was that then sterile couples should not get marriage licenses either. So the this judges, yeah. So the judges were taking this very seriously. It was very high court drama. I, I think that whether you agree with the, whatever your position was, it's worth reading the transcript of this case. It was fascinating. Let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Let's check in on Twitter first. Stephen says he believes it's just a matter of time between before same-sex marriage becomes a reality here in Texas. And then this person says, why won't the Supreme Court just take up gay marriage? There is literally no legal argument against it, and it'd be an easy win. What do you think? Well, that's, that's a great question. The U.S. Supreme Court doesn't just take up matters because they're easy. The U.S. Supreme Court, for its entire history, has only settled questions when they have to. And, and you've seen them now. They've had several gay marriage cases, but they haven't answered the ultimate question of is it lawful nationwide because they don't want to infringe on the state's ability to make their own decisions. But eventually, and I think now's the time, you have 36 states where it's been 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 either approved or overturned in federal court, so a majority of the states now have it. Jackie, by the question is, from, uh, uh, from a state like Texas that's always arguing states' rights, should the U.S. Supreme Court say it's now lawful nationwide and take it away from Texas? Well, of course, all Texas politicians, the politicians we have and the leaders we have right now are going to say no because they do believe in, in state rights and they feel that it, each state should be the one to make the laws for their own state and their own constituents. 
And in Texas in particular, I honestly believe that we would be one of the last states to actually, if, if it, each state gets is allowed to do make that decision, we will be one of the last states to actually say that these marriages are lawful. Be well, that's for sure. And it's not, be, it's not because of Republican or Democrat. I mean, what you're seeing, just like you saw with the Houston ordinance, the Equal Rights Ordinance, you're seeing a, it's more of a religious issue. And you're seeing people who are, are people of color um, who feel that their faith is being questioned whenever certain laws are being brought up. And they're lining up with certain conservatives, typical conservatives. And so you're seeing an alignment of a different kind. So in this, in Texas, this is not really a Republican or Democrat as much as how you believe the, the, the marriage should be defined by, based on your faith. Should the U.S. Supreme Court step in and say, 36 states is there, we got to fix this nationwide? Well, the, the justice met on Friday. It's not public what they talked about. They, they met on Friday. And after this, the ruling of this court, by the end of the month, you're likely to find out if, if the Supreme Court is going to rule on it. And I think they have to. The, the, courts, the Supreme Court has always settled these arguments in the end because different states are going to go in different directions based on their population. But we are still the United States of America, and the, and the Supreme Court always rules to settle those disputes between states. Regardless of what you believe about gay marriage, you have to agree that Texas can't keep its law that says we won't recognize this law from other states. I mean, it's a direct violation of the U.S. Constitution. Well, if you listen to our Attorney General and you listen to um, other leaders, you will hear them say, well, they think it's a direct violation of other states to tell them what they can uphold or cannot uphold. So it depends on how you're interpreting the law. And you as a lawyer know that some of the laws are interpreted, you can interpret them many, many different ways. Well, so that's why you're seeing, that's why you're seeing the conflict because a lot of our leaders are saying, no, you can't come in here and tell us how to do things. In all right, we gotta leave it right there. I'm sorry, we gotta leave it right there. We'll be back in a little while with another really good tour.